Students on the College Park campus got word of the tuition hike as they headed to their morning classes. It gets to a point where you get tired of paying this and I'm already so far in, I'm, I'm gonna be a senior, like I can't really transfer out. It really feels unfair. The Board of Regents in voting for the increase says it had very few options. Tuition will go up 2% for in-state students and roughly 3% for those learning in Maryland from out of state. The hike will be anywhere from 86 to $168 more a year. I mean, I feel like I'm paying a lot already. I don't need a 2% increase. The chancellor says the increase could have been higher. We were going to go for 3%. We were able to cut it back to 2%. We're very pleased with that. And as I said, we'll work hard to get it back to zero if we can. And that will require more state support. Not just support, but at least a bit of understanding from some students. For a lot of us, we're kind of used to it at this point because, I mean, you got all this construction over here, so obviously that does cost something. But, I mean, in the end, it's, it's, in, it's from our pockets. Uh, it's, it's just something we have to deal with, unfortunately. Besides raising tuition, students at some schools should also expect fees to go up. It'll add up to a little more than $20 million in next year's budget. Students say the increase affects more than academics. We were trying to figure out, like, find out where we wanted to live next semester, and some people were upset, like, because they couldn't afford room and board certain places. The Board of Regents say there was just no getting around this latest action. Now, students should start to see their tuition bills go up as early as this summer. Live in the 11 Newsroom, Tim Tutin, WBAL TV 11 News.